Hey YouTube, after a brief holiday break, we're back with more of Kings and Kaisers Operation 1.5.2. It is time for Kingdom of Italy and uh, United States' turns for round nine. So, uh, yeah, um, we had a couple days off because of uh, Christmas and everything, so we're back at it right now. Um, uh, China has concluded their war in the previous uh, previous round. So we don't have to do anything over there. They're neutral unless Central Powers somehow attack or declare war against them or whatever, but that's probably not gonna happen. Anyway, Italy's gonna buy two transports and one infantry. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so everything from Tuscany, there's one tank, one infantry, and two artillery is coming up to, you guessed it, uh, Veneto, the two cavalry in, um, actually let me back, the, one second, let me t change that. One of the artillery from Tuscany will back up to Rome. The two cavalry in Rome will tow two infantry um, from Rome up to uh, Veneto. Okay. Um, there is one Austrian infantry there because I'm attacking with a tank. Um, that's basically an auto kill um, because the tank will absorb. If there's only one infantry, he's going to absorb the hit if it hits. So there's no need to roll for that. Tanks are, uh, the, it, it's kind of, in this game and 1914 in general, it's kind of hard to pull the trigger on buying them. But once you get them in the map in good areas, they're worth, they're worth it. <laughs> you know, they, they change the the standard, uh, sorry, the standard uh, defense method of just having one infantry, you know, um, things like that. So it's kind of cool. You kind of have like a, if you have enough t tanks, you can really have like a steamrolling effect, which is pretty cool. But anyway, uh, Italy goes up two to fifteen. Ooh, that's upside down. Two to fifteen. As it was contested so for the time being at least Venice is safe and that military base there is safe um, and in terms of everything else let's see uh, one let's see one infantry that was in Rome so that's just that's an infantry. One infantry that was in Rome is going to hop on a U.S. transport. So let me get a cargo marker. That's in C zone twenty nine. Okay, so he'll do that. The new stuff: one infantry down in Rome, and the two transports down in C zone twenty nine. And that's it for Italy. Um, I collect two bucks, and I have, not that this matters, because it really doesn't. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 16, 17, all day. Um, yeah, that's it. Disposition, uh, cruiser in season 30 still, there's no need for really, for, there's no, there's really no need for me to move them out. Um, Hmm. Let me think about this actually. You know what? I am going to move this cruiser one, two into C zone 32. And I will move the sub from C zone. 29 into 32. I'm just going to do it. Now, again, we've the way we've uh, changed improved sea mines with um, with this game and how they work. There's no uh, Ottoman sea units in that sea zone. There's no Ottoman sea units in that sea zone. So since I don't have to attack anybody, or I don't have don't have the option of attacking anybody, uh, they it's still only one die per ship that moves into that sea zone. So here's for the cruiser. Two, narrowly escaped with his life. 
And here's for the sub. Ooh, oh, the sub gets it. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so, the, so ooh, that was the cruiser. So the sub's gone. The sub's gone. If he feels like building some units in there, that uh, that uh, Italian C unit is already in there for some kind of attack. But anyway, kind of doubt it, but who knows? Who knows with Madman? Yeah, that's, that's how he gets his name, you know? Disposition Cruiser in C Zone 32, Dreadnought in 29, two transports in 29, along with one infantry on a US transport in 29, two infantry, two artillery in Rome, Veneto has a tank, a fighter. Two cavalry, three machine gunners, um, 13 artillery, and then one, two, three, four, five, six regular infantry. Yeah, that's right. Okay. On to the US. I'm gonna save a buck, buy two transports, buy buy the tank that I was looking for, that I meant to buy earlier, just 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 for the sake of it. A lot of these purchases won't matter unless Panama goes super south for some reason. Um, to, uh, two infantry and artillery for 10, and then three more infantry for 9. Like, why not? Okay. Uh, in Belgian Congo, Belgian Congo is no longer contested, so that American is going to go and liberate uh, British East Africa. So there's that. So Britain goes up 1, Ottomans go down 1. Uh, the infantry in Cameroon will move and liberate Nigeria. So that'll boot move UK, uh, Britain up another one, Germany down one. If this is correct, that means this and this prior for those two, for both of those liberations for Britain. So there's that. And uh, let's see. Okay, uh, transfer from 29 goes back to 28, picks up um, infantry artillery, comes back, offloads them into Libya. The dreadnought from 27 comes in there so it can do a bombardment. Um, let's see, a guy in Tunisia. See, 20 will come over and grab him. And then come back to 29. He'll stay on the transport. Uh, in season 27, the four tr there's four transports. They will load everything from, from everything from province. Go one, two to season 29. And uh, I guess I could say they're on the transport, but I'm but there's no threat to uh, prevent them from making the there's no threat to make the sea zone hostile, so I'm just going to offload it in from province into Calabria. Okay. Um, transport in 15 with two infantry on it will go one, two to sea zone 28. Um, transport from 15 will go. One two, with uh, two machine gunners on it will go one two to C zone twenty eight. My bad, they slipped off. Okay. Okay. Um, transport from the two transports in C zone eight will pick up two infantry, two artillery from Brazil, and they'll go one two to twenty seven. And once again, offload in province. Just so I don't have to use a convoy marker. Uh, the transport in, let's see, 14 is going to go 1 to C to 8. Uh, pick up the two infantry from Brazil. And then come back to 14 and offload in French West Africa. Um, got the, the two artillery, two infantry from Southern Mexico will hit Central Mexico. Um, <clears throat> let's see. 
Transport from 19, we'll just go down to eight. Transport from four, we'll pick up the two infantry, artillery, and fighter, and they'll go to C-Zone 16. Okay. Um, transport from six, I guess I'll just stay there. I don't have any real any use for him. Uh, transport from seven. Come down to eight. Not a lot to do with the U.S. at the very end of the game, but, well, sometimes there can be. There can be, but in terms of, like, what you're buying and positioning for end, end turn stuff, not a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> the cruiser in C-Zone... 29, we'll move into 32 and brave a mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that. Miss, all right, cool. Um, no other further units. Yeah, you know what, these three cruisers from 31 will come in there as well. So I'm gonna roll three more mines. Sorry, I'm doing this like not or not completely organized, but I'm thinking about the end of the game. Uh, for sure, we uh, I confirmed this with Madman. We are doing a ten round game. We're not doing the optional eleven or twelve rounds. We're doing ten rounds. So you're setting up for the uh, your fi final uh, assault possibilities. Um, actually, before I do that, let's see. One second. I'm going to instead break off two of those two of those into C zone 30. Okay, so these are the two cruisers in C zone 30. Misses, okay? The second cruiser I sent into C zone 32. Miss. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Alright. Um Yeah. Alright, cool. There's no need to convoy Ottomans on their last turn, you know. Anyway, uh, new, oh yeah, we gotta do this battle here. So I got four threes, this is in uh, uh, Central America. I got four threes and he has two threes. Okay, two hits, excellent. That's exactly what I needed. He defends with two threes. He gets one hit in return. So the Mexican, German, I'll take one infantry. Mexican, German, Alliance or collaboration together is eliminated in North America. And that means that the officially at the Pacific point, I mean, it's already out here on the map, but that's officially in allied hands now. Uh, Germany goes down another one. Reich point goes down. Uh, not Reich point, sorry, Empire point. Wrong game. Okay. Uh, let's see. So disposition in 71 and 6, there's a, there's a transport in each. One infantry, two artillery in Central America. Ooh, forgot to put my new purchases down. Three infantry in Brazil, two transports in 8. Um, we'll put two transports in 4. And the tank, infant, uh, artillery, and two infantry in East U.S. Um... In C-Zone 16, there's a fighter and an artillery and two infantry on uh, two transports. Transport in 14, two infantry in French West Africa, infantry in Nigeria and British East Africa. Uh, transport in 12. Oh, did I? One second. I should move him. Uh, I'm going to move him... I'll move him over to 38. Give this guy some flexibility if they don't attack him, I guess. I don't know. Not sure what else to do with him. So yeah, two transports in eight, one transport in 14, one transport in 38. Um, uh, oh, I forgot, to I forgot to roll this battle. So I got two threes and a bombarding four, and he has two threes. This is in Libya. 
Only one hit with the bombardment. Miss. Okay, cool. So at the very least, I've contested Libya. Maybe I should have gone in with one more guy, but whatever. Okay, so he's down to one infantry in Libya. I have an infantry and artillery. Uh, C Zone 29 has a transport with an infantry and a Italian infantry. And then one, two, three, four, five empty transports and a dreadnought. Two cruisers in 30, two cruisers in 32. Lazio, ha not Lazio, Calabria has a fighter, four artillery, three infantry. Um, two transports, one with two British infantry in uh, C Zone. What is this? What C Zone is this? 28. Um, yeah, two, two British infantry in season 28 on a transport, and another transport containing uh, two uh, machine gun infantry. Uh, 27 has two transports. Province has two infantry, two artillery. Um, thinking what else I could do with that. Not really anything. Not, yeah, these guys really aren't going to do much. If anything, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, yep, not going to do much. Okay. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. America's a little spread out all over the map. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, bam. On to the final round of this game of Kings and Kaisers. Austria-Hungary. U.S. collects three for no um, no Central Powers warships in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, I am not in any original Central Power territories, though. So I don't collect anything from this. And then I'm at 31 on the tracker, I think plus the one I saved. Again, this doesn't really matter because this is because this is end game. But yeah, 32, 33, 34, 35 for next turn. All right, cool. On to Austria-Hungary. 